Catholic Caesarean Majesty. I have done all that I possibly could to serve your majesty and to discover a country where God our Lord might be served and the royal treasury increased. As your loyal servant and vassal, Francisco Vázquez de Coronado. Six years after Cabeza de Vaca returned to Mexico City, the Spanish Viceroy sent yet another expedition northward. They were searching for seven cities said to be filled with gold and treasure. In command of the expedition was the ambitious governor of a Mexican province, Francisco Vasquez de Coronado. For more than four months, Coronado followed old Indian trails across deserts and through the mountains. Finally, exhausted and hungry, he reached an adobe settlement that he hoped was the first of the fabled seven cities of gold. It was really the Pueblo of Hawiku, home to an agricultural people called the Zuni. The people of the Pueblo saw them coming, the sun slanting off their helmets, riding on monstrous animals none of them had ever seen before. What was going on at Zuni was a summer solstice ritual, and these kinds of rituals are always regarded as private. And so when Coronado came in, while these rituals were in progress, Zuni priests, Zuni elders, sketched a cornmeal line between Coronado's men and the people at Zuni, a line which Coronado was not supposed to cross. Coronado's men who were literally starving to death by that time. Just bull right in. The Zunis fought back. They grew so bold that they came up almost to the heels of our horses to shoot their arrows. On this account, I saw that it was no longer time to hesitate. And as the priests approved the action, I charged them. fled from the Spanish guns, whose thunderous sound they had never heard before. Coronado quickly overran the town, set up a wooden cross, and demanded that the Zuni immediately convert to Christianity. But he discovered that the Zunis had no gold. Over the next few weeks, Coronado would destroy 13 villages. He punished all who resisted him precisely as rebellious subjects would have been punished in Spain, burning 100 men at the stake and killing still more as they tried to flee. There was the decree that would be read when the Spanish came into a new native community that said in Latin, Everybody here must fall down and worship Jesus Christ, and if you don't, we will take it that you are worshipers of the devil and you will be wiped out. You basically have five minutes. That spring, still convinced that great riches could be found over the next horizon, Coronado sent expeditions into the surrounding countryside. One group marched to the Gulf of California. Another crossed the Painted Desert into the land of the Hopis. And a third marched for 20 days to the edge of a great gorge, the Grand Canyon of the Colorado. Nothing in their experience had prepared them for its sheer size. Captain Melgosa with Juan Galeras and another companion, kept descending in sight of the men left above, until they were lost to view. The men who remained above estimated that some rocks jutting out from the canyon must be about as high as a man. At four o'clock, they returned and swore that when they reached them, they were found to be taller than the highest tower of Seville. But once again, they found no gold. 
Coronado then heard of yet another city called Quivira, far to the north, filled with treasures beyond his wildest dreams. He led his men toward it, out onto the great plains, through an ocean of grass so vast and featureless they had to navigate with a sea compass. Who could believe that 1,000 horses and 500 of our cows and more than 5,000 rams and ewes and more than 1,500 men in traveling over those plains would leave no more trace when they had passed than if nothing had been there? Nothing. In the end, Quivira turned out to be just a Wichita village on the bank of the Arkansas River, a cluster of huts surrounded by bean fields. Its inhabitants no wealthier than the other Indians Coronado had encountered. The country itself is the best I have ever seen for producing all the products of Spain. But what I am sure of is that there is not any gold nor any other metal in all that country. Francisco Vázquez de Coronado. Finally, Coronado ordered his exhausted men to begin the long march back to Mexico. His search for the seven cities of gold had lasted three years, led him across a quarter of the West, and earned him nothing. <laughs>